People in South Mobile County are still drying out and cleaning up after storms earlier this week, and some are shelling out some big money to quickly repair damage. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is live there in Theodore, where residents showed her some of that damage today. Haley? Yeah, that's right. I am here on Clyde Drive, right off of Bellingrath, where some residents are paying about hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars for repairs. Fans and dehumidifiers line the hallways at Laverne Walker's Junior's house in Theodore. It was like a nightmare and I couldn't wake up. A reality he never expected when he moved to Clyde Drive five months ago. Monday, the water came rushing in. I mean, it was everywhere. Clyde Drive is not a flood zone, but this is not the first time rain has scared the residents. And it's gotten bad. Nothing like Monday. Residents like Deanna Purett says the issues begin on Bellingrath Road as rain collects in ditches clogged with dirt and debris. The water has no place to go besides their street. No amount of drains would have fixed this because the ditches were not working. Purett has reached out to the county looking for answers. I just need to know, are you going to fix this? How long is it going to take to fix this? Because again, we got rain last night and I'm sitting in my house praying, please God, do not let this flood again because if that's my house would be a total loss. We asked the public works director today what the county is doing about the situation. We do ride our roads, like I said, regularly and check them and make sure that they're in sufficient condition and, and they are. Now some residents are left wondering about the future. You know, what's next? Because I can't sell the house if I know that it floods. And so I'm stuck. The public's work director said that they are going to continue checking roads and any damages and repair those damages as they find them. Live in Theodore, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.